So I've seen lots of comments over the last few days about the new truck here. What happened to the old Dodge, the six speed manual? Well, we actually ordered a truck about 16 months ago now and it didn't come in. So we picked up this, it's a 2022 F250 XLT 6.7 Power Stroke. Um, it's got a short box and the truck we actually ordered was a Lariat long box. The reason I wanted the Lariat was for the LED headlights. Uh, they're just, you know, if you're driving at night, it's super nice to have those bright lights and we wanted the long box because we run we like to run the eight foot sled deck just for the extra length of the sleds another reason for wanting the long box was the bigger fuel tank that comes with it i think it's around 180 liters opposed to around 130. super nice truck so far really liking it uh, when you're driving 36 hours across the country driving in comfort makes a huge difference in your drive uh, for me you know, not to complain about the Dodge, it was a great truck. It got good fuel mileage. This didn't get the best coming out here, but we did have a pretty strong headwind coming across the prairies. Super quiet and comfortable to drive out here. Uh, the Dodge, it was deleted too, so it, it got a little noisy. And I mean, I kind of sound like an old man here, but uh, my, my ears would kind of be ringing at the end of the day after 20 hours of driving that truck. So we picked up this truck last minute before I left and we took it over to the Northern Upfitters where we got a leveling kit on it as well as some wheels and tires. So huge thanks to them for getting us in literally like last minute. Uh, we went with some fuel off-road wheels, kind of the beadlock style, just like the look of them. And as always, we're running the Duratrac tire. We got a 32560 R20 on here. On the Dodge, we're running a 275. Like I said, we got the truck in last minute. We actually had planned to do some more stuff to it like some mud flaps, because as you can see, the side of the truck is filthy, as well as we're gonna put some airbags in the back. I didn't expect the 250 to squat as much as it does. The Dodge sure didn't, but I think I had an extra leaf spring in there. Overall, been super happy with the truck so far, and let's go talk about the sled deck. The last couple of years, we've been running the eight foot deck on the six and a half foot box on the Dodge, but it's kind of a pain in the butt running the lawn deck on the short box, just, for trying to get up on the deck when you have the short deck you can just flop down the tailgate and crawl up there really easy where it's a little more difficult with the eight foot deck so we picked up a seven foot for the truck this year and now with the marlin decks they come with a weather seal kit which is super nice seals to the box really well and i've kind of always made my own homemade weather seal kits in the past but this <laughs> is far superior than that Another benefit if you're running a long box on an eight foot deck is you could have a 12 foot ramp opposed to this would be a 10 foot ramp. And if you have even a shorter box, you're probably running the eight foot ramp. I'm sure everybody on the internet now has seen that video that was posted a couple weeks ago where the guy launches his sled on top of the truck. Looks like he pretty much knocked himself out and uh, the, the sled destroyed the truck. It's, it's quite the video. Hopefully the guy's all right and uh, not to embarrass him any farther, but. But that's about all I wanted to mention for the truck and the deck. Thanks again to Marlin and Northern Upfitters. Let's go sledding. Chloe. Yeah. What happened? Well, you the trail's right here. Oh, and I was supposed to be in the ditch. You screwed up. <laughs> oh, whoops. How many liters of gas do you think you burned the other day? It's one. Not <laughs> A whole five. So it's a pretty snowy day here in town. We're going up Boulder Mountain. 
to Chloe and I. I was going to try and uh, keep up to my buddy Jason and ride two up with Chloe today, but that probably would have been a long day for her two up on the front of the sled. So we're going up a little later here, and I kind of warned Chloe that, you know, it's really stormy out today, and it's, you're not really going to be able to see anything. So typically, when it's stormy like this, we just tree ride. But Chloe can't exactly tree ride yet, so it'd be great if we had some sunny weather so we could just get up in the alpine and kind of enjoy the views and have some fellow riding. So, not exactly sure what we're going to find up here, but we'll go up and make the best of it. A day on the mountain is better than a day on the couch. Good today. So he didn't even wait for me. They should have filmed. Do you just want to film me from right here for a sec? I'm gonna try and get up and go over there and do a hop over and come back or something. spot to get stuck. I think we'll shovel this out, turn the sled and get out that way because it is pretty much straight up and down. Do you any help? Yes please. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't refuse it. <laughs> Want me to help you now? Yeah. <laughs> nice people. From Ontario originally. North Bay. Now what? We'll go up to the top. I'm definitely doing some sloppy riding still. If 
but that's okay. We've got to warm up for the air yet. That's a big hole. I gotta go through the trees here. I'll meet you back up more towards the cabin. Like how far should I go? Like two kilometers. Is that beeping I heard? I don't know. Probably shouldn't be getting too wild with uh, the off trail like this while I'm with Chloe. Just kind of in the trees by myself here, but. Gotta do a bit of riding, right? These are thick. Has Chloe gone by or not? <laughs> Something tells me Chloe didn't quite go two kilometers. Hi, we found you. You're, you're right here, and I came up literally like right there. That's that, that, that's where I came up, and you were right there. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't see you. Chloe doesn't even stop anymore for me. and wait for me. She just goes. Not sure. I will go up to the Alpine. See what it's looking like. I'm not a fan of this resetting every time you shut the sled off. Like I wish it would stay current ride for the whole day. Maybe there's a way to do that. I don't like that I can't see. But <laughs> no, this is as far as we're gonna go. Yeah. This is what I because I haven't brought you up in anything like this, have I? Not this thick, no. Yeah, I mean, it gets thicker than this. Yeah, I don't like it. I just wanted you to, to see what socked in meant. It's different when you watch it in the video versus in person. When you can't even see the moguls at your ski tips and you're like eating the bars, yeah. that's when it's really thick. Do you want to find a spot where you could do a re-entry? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I was waiting for a better reaction. What? Done that? <laughs> no, you can't do that, Chloe. Then why would you ask me that? Every entry is where you go. You hit a jump in the air, then you, I thought it then was. you, then you flip, and your skis point back from where you came. Yeah, well, I didn't think you'd offer me that. Why? You may as well go big or go home. Go home. Go <laughs> home. Me too. <laughs> Yay, team. That's kind of funny. Uh, I pull up to the cop, they're doing a ride program or something, I think. And he's like, hey, I recognize that bug. I'm like, uh, 
It's like Muskoka. I was like, oh shit. I guess he watches the videos. It's cool to see. I had a lot of questions in the comments over the last few days about the Milwaukee Packout box on the sled there. So what it is, is the JDS Customs, he makes a mount for it and then it clips right in. It uh, has four links mounts, but I choose to just leave the bracket up there. Take this on and off into the house every day. And I just asked him for a discount code for everybody. So if you use code FREERIDER, you could get 10% off. Jerry, what are you cooking us up tonight? Well, you don't like eating my food, so I'm just making a little marinade for my tofu. <laughs> and here's my special hot sauce that I, I mean, grow and make. At least you sauce. do something, right? Homemade hot sauce. Oh yeah, it's delicious. But that tofu, uh, yeah. Ah, it's good. 